Long Island is leading the country in tick-borne illnesses this season, and now there's a new effort to push for federal dollars to fight Lyme disease. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Suffolk County. More ticks have been reported in Suffolk County than any other county in America. I was hiking, I went through some brush, and I, I actually saw a tick on my chest. I was wearing a light color, so I was able to see it. I brushed it right off. Olivia Marie of Oakdale, not so lucky. She doesn't know when and where the tick got her, but after eight weeks of suffering acute pain and fatigue, she was diagnosed with Lyme disease. At the height, I had meningitis, sepsis, and Bell's palsy. Infectious disease specialists believe the COVID pandemic allowed the blood-sucking ticks to flourish, feasting off animals, spreading to humans. I actually see, you know, the, the little legs crawling in there, and that scared me. These Plainview moms worry about their children and family pets. I was, like, pulling up my sock because I felt like there was, like, something creepy crawly. So, I mean, it's definitely concern, and there is a lot of wildlife. Not all ticks carry disease, but the black-legged or deer tick can spread Lyme. With a spike in cases, Senator Chuck Schumer is again pushing for more federal dollars for Lyme vaccine. In mere months, there was the rapid development of the COVID-19 vaccine. Why is it taking decades to develop a Lyme vaccine? Lyme disease is much more inscrutable. It affects different parts of the body in different ways. More dollars could greatly hasten the discovery of a vaccine and, and its application. All we have learned from RNA vaccines from COVID, right, developing in one year, right, we can transfer that technology to a tick vaccine. And so this is amazing news. He's pleased with more funding that says until there's a vaccine, be your own advocate, seek medical advice, and get tested for Lyme. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.